let's make a lit glass cabinet door. Uh, the only downside of this is that when you choose to open the door in 3D, it's gonna have lighting on the back side of the door, but I don't often do that. So I'd be totally okay with just having a lit glass cabinet door. And so I'm gonna go search in my, ca um, in my catalog for glass cabinet. And it could just be a framed door, so maybe we'll search framed. And so I'll pick up one of these doors, um, so like this Mullion door three here. We'll place that in plan. And I actually just feel like working in plan as, as opposed to um, pulling some elevation views. So let's just open this up, a couple things, get into the 2D symbol panel. We're gonna say that we wanna always generate the block because I'm gonna rotate this. I'm gonna rotate this about the X axis, okay? So the front of this door is actually, I believe it is the front facing part here. So we're gonna rotate this in the, um, this is a positive Y direction. So we're gonna go in the negative Y direction, but we're rotating about X. So we need to choose axis of rotation is X and then rotate negative, bam. That throws that on its face and press okay. Next thing up is I'm gonna use the face tool. This is in your solids menu and I'll just click and draw. So we click drag, draw out. And then you have to double click your last point to finish making that face. I do wanna note what the height of this door is from finished floor, it's three quarters of an inch height. Okay, so I wanna actually make my face here be a little bit more off the floor than that. So um, from finished floor, finished floor to top, we could say three quarters of an inch, and then we could say plus one thirty second. Now we can just copy reflect about object and then select everything we've got going on here all together. Oops, I didn't quite select all, there we go. And we're gonna, in the edit menu, convert selected to symbol and make sure that the symbol category is cabinet door. And we're gonna say uh, emitter glass Boolean three and show advanced options. We need this checks because we're gonna rotate this symbol again, all right? Now, something to note is that I didn't actually paint this as an emissive texture. You could do that beforehand or you could do it in this dialog box. So in my 3D panel, and let's just go set this to always again, 3D panel, I'm gonna rotate this back up negative, or excuse me, positive 90 degrees in the Y. There we go, just like that. Notice that this is actually reoriented for some reason. So we're gonna have to flip this around a couple times. There we are, we rotated that about the Z axis. And then in the materials panel, we can come in here and set concrete to be something else. Now, before you even set concrete to be something else, you might wanna rename the component. So we're gonna say this is an emitter. That just took us um, a two slow single clicks to rename that. And then we could double click the material find in plan materials, something that might be nice is material defaults, you can choose glass lights. And by default, that is the emissive material and press okay. Now that that's in our library, let's go ahead and place a cabinet and show how this works. So we'll place a wall cabinet. Let me pull a 3D view. We'll throw in a little window in here to get some light in the room. And our emitter glass mullion cabinet, we've got our replace mode in for component. And there we go, look at that. So we're able to select this and turn it on and off from our edit menu. Simple glass cabinet door. Only problem with this, keep in mind, is that when we show the open door, it's gonna have that emitter on the back side of the door. Just keep that in mind. If I'm gonna show this open, I would typically just turn it off and then it's not so noticeable, right? Very cool.